Father, we thank you for that Jesus at the Last Supper used bread and wine to celebrate the abundant life that he has given us, that he was going to get for us by his flesh that was ripped and blood that he was going to shed for us unto death. And in, in communion, we are just celebrating that. We are partaking of the bread and wine to celebrate the abundant life that Jesus has given us by his grace by his fulfilling of the law through the body and blood that he shed for us unto death. We eat your flesh, applying the body and blood of Jesus. We eat your flesh and drink your blood so that we will not die, but live forever. We engage in the DNA of God. We embrace the transforming power of the body and blood of Jesus. We engage the record containing the light, sound, and frequency of God's image. We embrace the record of the dimensions of the kingdom released in our body by the DNA of God. We engage that DNA record and apply it to our bones for health and wholeness to remove all epigenetic hereditary switches. We speak to our marrow and command it to produce new blood to transform our cells DNA so that we can live forever. We apply the frequency of DNA to transform us into the image of Jesus. We transform every genetic record, resequence our DNA into alignment. We apply the blood of Jesus to transform all impure genetic material. We say, be transformed. We apply the blood of Jesus to all iniquitous genetic patterns. And we say, be cleansed. We call all our genetic material to resonate with the DNA of God and come in alignment with our eternal image. We choose to bear the record of our eternal image conform to the likeness of our father and brother in heaven. Let the breath of God be breathed into our life, transforming us into a living being, joined to the Lord and one spirit with him. We speak creative words to our DNA to release the supernatural abilities of God. We trigger the ability to see and move in the spiritual realm of the kingdom. We trigger the ability to transform matter and control light and sound. Now applying the body and blood of Jesus to the renewal of our mind. We eat your flesh and drink your blood so that we will have the mind of Christ. We engage in the body and blood of Jesus and we embrace the transforming power of the mind of Christ contained within it. We engage the record containing the light, sound and frequency of God's consciousness for the renewal of our mind back to its eternal condition. We embrace the record of the dimensions of the kingdom released in our mind by the thoughts of God to renew rewire and restore our brain and thinking. We engage God's thoughts and apply them to our mind for health and wholeness, to break and remove all negative neural pathways linked to our conscience. We speak to our marrow and command it to be a new source of blood that will renew and rewire the cells of our brain so that we can think like a son of God we apply the frequency of God's thoughts resonating with truth to transform our mind into the mind of Christ by removing all lies and breaking all strongholds. We command every neural pathway attached to negative memories and ungodly behaviors to be broken and new neural pathways aligned to truth to be formed. We apply the blood of Jesus to all negative and impure memories 
and break all connections to sin and trauma. Mind and thinking be renewed. We apply the blood of Jesus to all negative images within our imagination and all negative belief systems within our reason center. Mind be cleansed. We call our mind to resonate with the thoughts of God contained within the mind of Christ and come into alignment and agreement with an eternal perspective. We choose that our brain and mind be conformed to the likeness of our father and brother in heaven to release the creative capacity of sonship. Let the word of God be breathed into our mind, unlocking its true capacity, releasing the supernatural abilities of God. We trigger the ability for telepathic communication and telekinetic power. We trigger the ability of creative thought, translation, bilocation, pre and post cognition and time travel. Amen. 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 Thank you, Cyril. Uh, let's move further with the same atmosphere that we are having now and uh, we in tone with Bernadette. Over to Bernadette. Yes. Uh, oh, just a minute. Uh, you can hear me, right? Okay. Yes, uh, yes. Welcome all the beloved of the Lord. We shall now join in intoning the name of Yahweh. We will intone five times each. That is Yod, the Lion King, to the east, Hey, the Ox, prophetic, to the south, and Shin, Jesus Christ, in center. Wow, Eagle, the west, prophet, and Hey, man, to the north, the priest, the man. So then we will have the four, we have these four angels, the sound of many waters, wonderful, the wind of change, then we have the transformation angel, and the refining fire. So let's all, <clears throat> together, we will just do this together. One, two, three, take deep breath. Let's all take a deep breath.
Third time. Thank you, Bernadette. No, fourth time, Ra. Oh, okay. Yo. Last for fifth time. It was fifth time, huh? No. have some exciting news to share and I would uh, pass on the I'll pass on to Harki now he has some exciting news to share with everyone Hi, good morning Harky. everyone good morning Harki how's morning, everyone Harky. doing good afternoon Harki good afternoon good morning good night no not even good night <laughs> <laughs> whichever zone time zone you are <laughs> Since everyone is giving good news, even we have good news. We have found our four new elders Please. who have uh, willingly said yes. We didn't have to force them or threaten them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, Harki is going to be a good MC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife says I only talk outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the four elders, we start with A, A for Annie. Annie's there? Yes. Uh, welcome. welcome. Welcome, Annie. Welcome, Annie. P for Bosco. Oh, wow. welcome. Oh. Welcome, Bosco. Welcome, Bosco. Welcome, Bosco. Thank you. Thank welcome. you. Bosco, welcome. Okay, Bosco. Bye. <laughs> 
We could not find a C, but we found a D for Donna. Wow. Oh, welcome, wow. Donna. Wow. Welcome, Donna. Welcome, Donna. Welcome, Donna. Welcome, Donna. Donna doesn't seem to be there. Donna, Donna where is she? Seem to be on on the. Maybe she'll join in later. Maybe yeah, she's, she's at work. I, I guess mm. she's got work. And the last, uh, we have Thomas. Welcome, Thomas. Uh, Thomas, Thomas Fernandez, Thomas. right? Thomas Fernandez. There Thomas are two Fernandez. Thomas. Ah, Thomas Fernandez. Thomas. Welcome, Thomas Fernandez. Welcome, welcome, Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, so Thomas, it's been, welcome. Yeah, so it's been a good journey for the four of us actually, and we hope you all have a good time like how we did. Yes. If someone Thank else you. wants to say anything, Cyril or Sonia, Miss Benedict, Benedict. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Somebody. Uh, maybe Sonia. Sonia, Sonia. I'm already, anyway, I'm already speaking more than anybody, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very beautiful experience uh, with all of, we all four, because at least for me, I really didn't know who, I mean, I really didn't know anyone. So what we first did is we, we just wanted to meet everybody, four of us. And so we had a, you know, a video, voice or video call, and then we could see each other. Okay, who is who? So it becomes easy to, you know, talk and relate and discuss the things further. So it was a really great journey with Cyril and I learned a lot with everyone. Everyone is so unique and different and yet so talented and skillful. So I've learned a lot being with you all guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you so mm -hmm. much and blessed to have you in the group and be a part of your team. Thank you so much for all the cooperation and support you gave to me. Thank you. Yeah, Thomas is not here. Hello. Thomas, Thomas Fernandez. Is he not, not here? There? I, I, can't I don't spot know. Him. Donna is not there. And I think Thomas also is not here. Thomas is, I believe, nowadays he's not attending. Hey. Which Thomas? Thomas? This is, is our Thomas Finney? From... Finney? Finney? Thomas Finney? Or... Thomas, Thomas Fernandez, Fernandez is Thomas, Thomas, Thomas from Kerala. Thomas and Molly. Thomas and Molly one. There is one Thomas but, uh, George. There is one Thomas George. Yeah, Thomas George. But this is Thomas uh, Fernandez. This one is Thomas Fernandez. Is he the one from uh, Hawaii? Thomas from Hawaii. Mumbai, Mumbai. I have no idea. No idea. Okay, who selected him? Okay, who current, selected? Uh, currently, which Thomas is available? Let's take that Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> nice, sir. Well, sir, Thomas. Uh, nice humor, okay. man. Nice humor. Okay, so I Thomas. thought it was a doubting Tom. Herky. <laughs> yes, yes. Herky, uh, uh, you were so mentioning now, that uh, these people uh, willingly. Uh, yes, uh, see, I'll, I'll give you the number of the of this person: eight eight seven nine zero seven nine six eight one. Fernandez, Thomas Fernandez. Jeremy. Actually, okay. actually, uh, yeah. He joined his hands twice with a heart and saying yes. On the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, then, uh, the whoever connected with him just confirm. Okay. Later. Later. Okay. Yeah. Because Th Thomas is not regular and he is also yeah. busy. So yeah. you you just confirm with him. Otherwise, you can appoint Thomas George if he is busy. Yeah. Thomas uh, George, yeah, we said he, he was saying that he would not connect today. Today he's oh. going to be busy, but he will join, when, you know, when. He, yeah. He's already Next. there in the group. So, anyways, he's there, there, he's there already. He's there. Yeah, he's yeah, there. Is there? Okay. Yeah, Actually, we had we were not sure which Thomas. I had chosen Thomas George and Sonia said Thomas Fernandez. So, we were like, which Thomas? Then we no, actually, to, you know, what happened Thomases. is. And yeah, and I also chose the same. Actually, what Banarit said and now also Shridhar, what he said. But by mistake, since we didn't know there were two Thomas, so it got added by mistake the another number. That was, I mean... Yeah, yeah that's what happened. Are bhai log, whichever Thomas is now available, let's go ahead with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Naveen, George. Naveen, you are really wise here. Intelligent. <laughs> wise and funny. Tom. Thomas George willingly accepted, so yeah, whichever yeah. is Thomas yeah. available, uh, I think he's available. Okay, okay. then. Okay. Okay. Thomas George. Yeah. But so well Thomas done, guys. George. Well done. Oh. But, but, but I would say, yeah, 
I'll just you four four of you take a responsibility because if that Thomas asks, so you should be able to answer him. Okay. I think since you have already asked Thomas Fernandez to come in, so I'll uh, check with him and then only let me come. In. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Yeah, and that's very good. In fact, today, yeah, because yeah, because that's what happened. Uh, you know, so I had to call, call Thomas George and said, "Sorry, we have confused with you." That, so is it okay for for you for next? And he said, "Okay, no problem. I will." <laughs> Thomas George was like a very flexible. Okay. Benny, like, no Benny, Benny Thomas is saying something. Yeah, Thomas, go ahead. Yes, sorry. Yeah, in fact, I, in fact, I was not uh, planning to come today because mm -hmm. we had a betrothal of uh, Molly's uh, festival since uh, Sun, but uh, mm -hmm. that got postponed because the bride's uh, grandfather had a heart attack last night. So that was oh, so that uh, that was a blessing so that we could be part of uh, the teaching today. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. So taken, I, guess, I think, I think Thomas George is like laughing. <laughs> I think we can have five leaders for this time since it's the final week. I yeah, I think five I elders, think Sonia. Sonia and Syria that like would be great, Thomas. I also appreciate that your suggestion. I yeah, agree yeah. with So no one feels bad and Right, exactly, system. exactly. Yeah. Because man plans yeah. the things, but God orders the steps. Let it happen in that way, and let. Harki, Harki, you think like a king, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. He's he's reaching that modified. And Actually, transformed. I just I mostly just speak my heart out. Like I don't know. If it's that's right that's that, that's right. right. That's the best man. position. Is Harki yeah. please? <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I would uh, really thank God for the group that I was in. I thank each one of you. You know, it was a wonderful time we had together and, you know, just growing together. And uh, the age makes no difference, though I may be a grandma, you know, <laughs> but I feel so much connected in the spirit. You know, I, I really thank God for you guys. And of course, we are still going to be in touch. We are not going to be, you yeah. know, yeah, we'll yeah. always be there. And, we all know. Uh, yeah. yeah, God bless. And uh, it was God nice bless. being God bless. with you guys. Yeah. Butterfly, love we know. You. Love you guys. God bless. Love you guys. Butterfly, love butterfly we know. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. <laughs> but you're filled with wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> Thank you, Bosco. <laughs> no, but, but butterfly, butterfly, your voice is so sweet here. Yeah. It's like honey. <laughs> it's a mixture. Husky, dusky, and uh, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Welcome, and Butterfly. Thank you. And uh, I want to bless all uh, elders who have done a very good job. May God expound your uh, territories and your minds and your hearts and your wisdom that uh, you have carried us for the month and for the four uh, Saturdays. Uh, you have done a very good job and uh, the angels are... Uh, and uh, having a dance session since you have handed over to the next four elders. Praise God. Thank well done. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Uh, well done. Amen. Very amen. Very amen. Very nice, cheerful group. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice group. Yeah. And nice messages yeah. also. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. So, what are we doing now? Sonia. Yeah, so let's share our hearts if anybody had an experience or they had some revelation which will build others. We would really appreciate to please open up and share it so that it will edify others, please. All don't, com don't, 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 compare, don't compare your experiences with anybody's experience because the experience that you are having is unique. So Amen. please share that will edify the body. Stephen, raise the hand. Yeah, can I go ahead? Yeah. Please, please, yes, Stephen. Yeah, I want to, first of all, I want to thank everyone who has wished me well and uh, showered their blessings upon me on this day, my birthday. Uh, I first, uh, I at the uh, beginning, I never used to like my birthday because one of my best birthdays I spent in the jail. So, or uh, 
I was caught uh, traveling without a uh, ticket and uh, just by default, I don't know, maybe because of my pride, I had pride in me because uh, I was supposed to go to Madras for a competition, for a drawing competition. I was selected to be in a, 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 a competition that would take me, if I would win that Madras competition, I would have gone, got a chance to go to Turin when I was in Don Bosco's Matunga. So uh, I had asked my mother to get some colors for me because I did not have the colors that I wanted. I had only uh, gathered colors that my friends threw out. So, and I used to make drawings uh, with those uh, items that were available to me. So uh, the evening had come and then the, my journey was in the night and uh, the the father told me, the priest told me that uh, you will be traveling with another colleague and uh, we will reach you to uh, VT station and uh, you travel from there. So I told the priest, I don't have colors. I told my mother to get the colors. So I'll, I'll wait. I waited till 4.30 when the school got over. Then I got impatient and I said, I better go there to see my mother and, uh, and uh, get the colors if she has purchased. So uh, I was, uh, the father asked me, you want any money to travel? I said, no. With my pride, I said, no. And um, I went and then I knew how to travel without ticket. So when I came at the plat, before I could come at a platform, I seen the train already come in and I knew that I had to get back. So I ran to the train and I got in the running train, not knowing it was a first class and I jumped in. And then when I got down at Wadala to change the compartment, the ticket collector caught me and he says, okay, don't, don't need to run. You cool down, calm down, you come along with us. So uh, I went along with him. I thought uh, they would release me after a while or something like that. But they would not believe me that I was a schooling boy because my uh, build was big. He's saying, you're a liar. They branded me like a liar. And then they said, uh, uh, you, I told them, which school? They asked me, I said, I'm Don Bosco. They say another lie. They could not believe that I was from Don Bosco because in Don Bosco, they're all rich people going to that school. So I look like a, a nobody. So uh, I said, what to do? God, you only help me. But uh, maybe God did not want me to go and enter the competition. So I was put in the Kurla jail. One night I spent there and uh, uh, they would not let me go because uh, my uh, stature and my condition did not show in any sense that I was a schooling boy. So I was wondering when the train were passing, uh, what would I do for the competition? What would, was my condition? And that they happened to be my birthday. So... In my mind, I hated my birthday. I did not celebrate after that any birthday. And uh, people used to force me to celebrate birthday. I said, no, no, I don't like birthdays. I had that, uh, uh, what do you say, the impression upon me, birthdays are not very good. And uh, God doesn't want me to celebrate birthday. So I had that kind of a feeling. And uh, the night in the jail was a sleepless night because uh, there were uh, mates uh, which who were very bad. Uh, I cannot express them, but uh, I forgive them for whatever bad things they were planning. But uh, they seen my size and uh, my aggression because when I was small, I was very aggressive. So uh, though the transformation in the boarding had taken a little change on me, but the inner... Uh, bone marrow still had that uh, thing to protect myself and uh, and uh, what happened was the next day was uh, the hearing so we were brought to uh, VT station and uh, there was a hearing there I do not know from where there was one small boy who came near the window because we there in that uh, court you are not supposed to open your mouth whatever they say you just have to shake your head or say yes and then that's it your verdict is uh, declared. So there was a boy who came to me saying, Sap, Sap, tumara address de do, tumara garwale ko batata hon, tum karge. How he knew that my garwalas did not know where I was and how, what was my condition, how he knew 
only i feel that only god knew it and uh, and god knew my heart and what my i said i will go through whatever punishment i have to go because of my pride and i will take this punishment and see what happens next it was a good experience for me and uh, i wrote down i did not have anything to write down so he brought the cigarette packet and he brought one pencil from where i do not know so i wrote down the address and i sent him so the verdict was declared and from that uh, court room i was transferred into the jail to be transferred to baikala jail there all the uh, people who are without ticket were kept there till they pay the fine and the fine was uh, some 150 rupees or something like that when they had declared so you have to pay 150 rupees and get out and i do not know how to make that money available because at that time the fare was only 25 paise and 25 paise return 50 paise could go up and down from matunga to to dockyard road so um, uh, i was waiting and i was just thinking i just closed my eyes uh, then uh, when i had uh, given my name i had given my name as uh, uh, rosario dicuna i did not say it as steven dicuna so my mother had come i could see my mother uh, extending my neck up that my mother was there and i could see her then i waved out and the policeman howled that said ha ah, tumcha hai kai tumcha i said ha 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 then she paid 150 rupees there and i got out from that jail i do not know what would be my condition and i was blanked out from that time that where source came to help me and how i got help from so i just believe uh, god has every one in his heart and his mind that he will make a way where there seems to be no way and uh, he will take you to the place where you need to be just to understand so these birthdays we celebrate i feel that is just uh, we can do so many other things with the or uh, uh, i feel like that i this my call and i usually don't celebrate but since i'm there new and everybody is in the celebration mood i want to just celebrate this experience that i had for the many years of my life and we are celebrating my son is coming from uh, bombay he had been to mangalore so and he's bringing his kids my daughter has give me a video call with her kids and my son in law also and uh, my son in law who is here in goa they are also celebrating we are having a celebration in the evening with our family and i'm blessed to have a birthday to remind me that birthdays are also a day of celebration thank you wow 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 wow, wow steven god bless you very nice yeah. very nice very wow steven yeah wonderful happy birthday oh, yeah. happy birthday again <laughs> yeah thank you thank wonderful, you for all wonderful. the wishes steven thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> one bird recognizes the other bird so we are going to get fly <laughs> actually it's a jail bird barabar barabar ye putta ra to barabar bola god bless steven god bless you for everything you have gone through everything is an experience for us also yeah man yeah man even i am interested in knowing what happened to drawing uh the, that thing, the drawing which i got to chosen is still there. i don't know where it is now but i have given it to somebody and uh, they have framed it and kept but i did not go attend uh, i could not attend the competition but i have make lot of other drawings also i have made a drawing of my wife and the picture ah, that is where i am coming to so that scale is still there right <laughs> no that was way back in uh, i had that kind of a sad feeling the drawing that i made and i did not meet my arts desire so i don't know where that drawing is because that drawing when i got the competition they had taken it for exhibition they had put it on the notice board there were four of us who were uh, drawings were chosen only two were selected to go to madras for the further uh, for the competition 
So I don't mm-hmm. know exactly where the drawing is, but the drawing which I had made. Ah, is yeah, yeah, right. It is. Heart. It's already there in your heart, in your DNA. Just yes, open it yes. now as well. Yeah, yeah, I will open it. If somebody wants to have a look at it, I will draw it again. Yeah, I want to look have a, have a look at it. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Naveen. Thank you, Stephen, for being so transparent and opening this experience to all of us. Like, what, how God can work, and even a small yeah. boy, which we don't know how God <laughs> used him for bringing the breakthrough. Yeah, he was an angel. Awesome. My mother. My mother also tried to search him after that. We could not find him. There was no boy there near the uh, that uh, railway station, Central Railway. There was a portion where there was a jail and there was a court there. They called it Annadi Court. Yes, yes, Annadi Court. Yes, yes. Yes. So, if, yeah. if you say uh, no, not Kabul, Kabul, they last. Then again, 50, 50 will become 100, 100 will become 200, 200 will become 500. They'll keep on adding the charges. Yeah. Actually, that was an angel, Stephen. That was yeah. an angel. Amen. Yes. Now I've learned a lot of things, so I'm imagining that could have been an angel because there are many angels in my life. This was one, and uh, as times time passes by and I get an opportunity, I'll I'll tell you many other angels that came into my rescue. Amen. 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 All under protection. What angel are there rescue ke liye? <laughs> I believe I believe uh, Stephen is like Alexander. He is not going to finish uh, with Param. I think from from Param he is going to take over entire city and make a become a bop of everybody. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen, amen. <laughs> no, Param has adopted me, no so. So, all the Steven other Singh Makani. <laughs> <laughs> Lira has put by, it properly. By Tarbuja pe chaku gire chaku pe par Tarbuja gire nuksan kis ko? Katna Tarbuja hi hai. Katna Tarbuja hai. Okay, next. Who's next? I don't see any hands here. Why? Don't see any hearts? So you should open up their hearts. Come on. Okay. I'm encouraging you all. Okay, if anybody is not saying that, I'll just say a small announcement. Now, we are in a soaking room, a second session. And the month end of 28th, we will have a third session. And December 1st week, we are going to have a hupa. By that, December 1st Saturday, by that time, you should be having your katuba. If anybody doesn't have a katuba, that means they are not serious about marriage. Okay? Because that day, we are going to read a katuba under the hupa. So you all need to have katuba by December 1st week. And uh, the second week will be a bridal chamber and after that we will close. We will dismantle this group and uh, everyone like Eklisha Mumbai will join Eklisha after the sabbatical. Uh, Dubai will join, Dubai Kuwait will join, whoever, wherever, Bangalore will join, wherever they are. And then if anything else comes, then we will again uh, uh, come together and do something. Otherwise, uh, on 15th, after the second week, we are going to disband this group. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shida. Thank, thank you, Shida. Thank you. Sonia, thank you for the encouragement. Stephen, I appreciate even just because you shared and you open your heart, Lord has already even uprooted the uh, deep roots of the trauma in your mind. Yeah, yeah that's right. So Correct. always when we bring it to the light, it's like witnessing, like we all are God's uh, sons and it's not we, it's you have confessed it before the light of the Lord and you have been set free, you know, from all those Amen. trauma. So I see you as a free bird. Now this memory is not going to uh, hold you back. You're going to fly very high like a free bird in the sky. You can see me on the screen. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Exactly. Absolutely. Amen. I, this is I your hold day. On to that. Stephen, this amen. is your day. <laughs> amen, amen. 
Today, Already. Steven is the birthday boy. <laughs> if no one is sharing, then we can, I think, start our session. No, but see, we have 20 people. Why you don't have anything to share? I mean, I'm just asking a question, okay? I think I'm free to ask. Okay, I'll share. Hmm. Can I, can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I want to share, uh, you know, something which happened last week. And uh, so, you know, we, me uh, and uh, uh, Sridhar, Steven, Tony, and uh, Simplicio and all of us had gone to Christopher and Svetlana's wedding. And we had a bomb of a time and, uh, uh, you know, lots of things, uh, you know, we engaged, we went to the zero mile. And so we were staying in that, uh, uh, what do you say? That, that seminary campus. Yeah, the campus where it's a college and there are a lot of things and there is a hall and everything. So the, the moment where the building that we were staying in, where I was, uh, you know, where, uh, uh, you know, all of us were staying together. The moment I entered that place, you no, know, I saw uh, a girl uh, kind of dancing and mocking or something like that. And I, I kind of ignored and... Uh, uh, you know, one of the days, so I spent a lot of time on the throne. Uh, so one day when I was on the throne, throne in the sense, when I, when I go to toilet, that's what I mean by throne. So one day when one of the mornings when I was, uh, uh, you know, when I was doing my job and I was just there wondering and, you know, maybe with my phone, I was just doing something. I, I felt that, that, that she's around again. And when she came, I just, I just like how Hanuman how he opens his chest and he, you know, he, uh, I just did that and I just let light and my being and love just flow out. And I saw her being restored. And, uh, and then I, 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 it was, I just felt that her name is Grace. And uh, so I, I believe that as all five of us were there and, uh, you know, and that she's restored, I believe there is going to be a new grace upon that entire place. And even us going there was not a coincidence. I mean, nothing is a coincidence, but uh, much more, of course, the wedding itself was, was one of the, uh, I believe, one of the reasons why we were there. But uh, so many other people were just <laughs> challenged over there. And as you were speaking, a lot of voidness inside of people was just coming up to the surface. And, and a lot of people were just realizing that uh, there is much more to everything. And this is not possibly it. So, uh, so as, so I just want to encourage that wherever we go, you know, we carry the, the DNA of restoration of all things. And, uh, Amen. you know, as we just go on restoring, you know, the kingdom of God is just being established to a place we can never imagine. So just want to encourage with that. Yeah. Thank you, Param, for sharing that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Param. Thank you. Yeah. That place, no, the, that's, a the, they have Bible college, nursing college. Polytechnics, they had a lot of uh, orphans and all that, but the government has come against orphanages. So most of the orphans are uh, gone back to their guardians or parents, and they still have some orphans over there. But they can't, there is no place for them to go. And uh, it's a very nice place, but none of them ever danced. They have a thing against dancing. <clears throat> and uh, we went over there and we started Jewish dance and opened up. Even uh, Saji Lucas, who's the person based in uh, Chicago, he's the main founder of that place. Uh, he said that uh, in our wedding, we don't dance. He's from Kerala. So I said, you come to Goa, you start dancing. But he was interested and he actually broke the ice over there. He went forward and he danced. Everyone was uh, set free from a, a sort of a bondage loop. And uh, especially the Bible college students, they were very uh, uh, set free. They came forward to dance and they were looking forward to dance. They were very happy. And uh, the last day when I was leaving, some of the pastors, they were saying that you all came here and uh, you all uh, changed the atmosphere of this campus. So that was very encouraging to hear from them. Many of them were very touched by by what we what happened over there. 
just uh, released. And then the other thing is that place we had gone to, that zero point, there also, <clears throat> I, I believe that's one of the main reasons we had gone over there. Uh, there's going to be a change of the atmosphere in the whole of India and the neighboring uh, nations also. I believe God is going to change uh, the leadership of nations. And that's what we did over there. Amen. Thank you, Tony. Amen. 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 amen, amen. amen very amen. encouraging. Very encouraging. What uh, yeah. Very good. Uh, I have a question. Amen, amen Tony. Praise God. Uh, I have a question. He param tu utna der kya karta hai Tony? Me? I am a creative zone. <laughs> he, he is on yeah, that. Heavenly, qu heavenly questions cannot be answered. <laughs> <laughs> once, once I was in the, once I was on the throne, and under say I am messaging uh, Sridhar about about WhatsApp. So what under me? Under me? What is WhatsApp doing? Parama, that girl uh, is a spirit or a real? I mean, she is spirit, spirit. Yeah, 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 spirit, spirit. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. A spirit the, that need, needed to be restored. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The real Shridhar was the one who Shridhar, came to sleep. Shridhar, what do we do? I know what we do, Shridhar. We both engage and do what we do. What do we do? We find out. No, no, no. I don't know everything. I don't know everything. Okay. 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 Hi, uh, this is Elizabeth. Hi. I hi, just Luke. have, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, share one uh, something about me, uh, which happened in the office. I was listening to you all guys. And I like Steven and Tony. I loved yours because when you said about dancing, I can always dance wherever I am in my thoughts, in my dreams of physical presence. I just love to dance and I wouldn't care less about anybody thinking what about me, you know. I loved your message about how you broke the ice of getting on Christopher's and Svetlana's marriage. Okay, just a small sharing. Um, once again, to repeat, you know, so many years of being a believer and being from Catholic Church and everything, I just encountered a small incident in my office uh, last week. Um, uh, someone disturbed me very badly in the office, like, you know, and I'm always a person, you know, like in my thoughts, I would say, let me get a chance and I will teach, I will teach, like, you know, it happens in your thoughts. And suddenly I come into the presence of the spirit and I just heard the voice like, you know, you are the body, you are the temple of Christ, you are the body of the Holy Spirit, do not grieve, do not grieve. I kept on saying, you know, Lord, I do not want to grieve on the negativity. I do not want to grieve on the words of the people around me. I do not want to grieve. My body is like a temple. And things over my life which had not happened, which I never encountered, you know, it, I used to always carry that thought of hurt feelings, even when I used to be back home and it used to disturb me. But I just realized the moment I started glorifying and my, I saw that my soul, soul, because when I say the communion prayer, I saw that I was split. My soul and my spirit were split. And in the next 10 minutes, I just go to that same person who insulted me and it was very rude. And I just was so kind and so loving. Like I was saying, like, what about food? Let's order something. Let's enjoy. And then I come back to my desk and I said, Okay, Elizabeth, uh, were you the real you? Because I never experienced this, you know, like being in the image of Christ. I just, I just found a deep peace. So I just wanted to share with you that I did not allow that spirit of mind to grieve with the negativity of anything in life. So I'm just happy that there is so much of little, little, I always be aware of the little transformations which are happening in my life. And it's all because of you guys and Ecclesia, Shridhar, and all my group people. Thank you and love you, you are. A wonderful sharing. Bless you. Yeah, wonderful. Beautiful. Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing. It's a beautiful experience. Elizabeth is much depending upon you because you are the one who has encouraged yourself to take in. Because uh, 
uh, you cannot take in without being empty. So you have emptied your old self and you're taking in new. So you are getting transformed. So much credit to you because you have emptied yourself. And Amen. as you express your heart, I think God is going to, to transform you totally and you're going to be a different person. That's what I see. Uh, Stephen, thanks a lot. Uh, Stephen, just one line I had read somewhere when you did your sharing, you know. Uh, I listen, I do not get time, you know, to come on uh, Mondays to Thursday when I am um, uh, the engaging Ecclesia, but I do listen to the videos which Lira sends to. And there was one part when Mike Parsons said, you know, forgiveness is the first step towards um, uh, the healing or whatever you say, like, you know. And I had read one liner in somewhere and it says, I forgive people not because I hate them or I have against them, but I need to move forward in my life. And that touched me so, same, and that word touched me so nicely that forgiveness, you know, you just forgive because it's not that you hate or something. You just have to let go many things and you need to move forward with God's love, peace and joy. Very true. Very well. Amen. 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 Hold on. Hold on to that. Yes. It's a very powerful. In I believe in the walk that we are having, nothing goes. The first step is forgiveness, I feel. And then only we see everything. Yeah. And that's the most difficult part because it has a choice. And you chose, so God really honored your choice, uh, Elizabeth. So so yes. beautiful to hear what you shared and it is really very integral part of our walks with the Lord. Yes. Actually so this morning, morning, yeah, I just want to go for, uh, go ahead and share a small thing just because we are telling about the, we are talking on the forgiveness. I have a very, you know, like a very deep revelations on this forgiveness. And this morning I want to give you a fresh one, which I got this morning as I was listening to the transformation, transformational communion, uh, what uh, Mike Parson has been teaching this all week. And he's telling like how the bone marrow, it creates the cells, it creates the new blood. The main source is the bone marrow. And how God said to Ezekiel, the spirit of the Lord took Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones and he started speaking over the bones because bone is the main, the marrow is the main thing. And so when we are engaging with the body and the blood of Jesus every day as our part of our lives, everyday lives, what we are doing is we are applying the life in our bone marrows for the new blood to come. And the Holy Spirit took me further and he said, when the new blood is, being, is coming to the bone marrow, to my bone marrow or to everyone who is engaging, what is happening is we are not only receiving the new blood, but we are receiving the power to forgive. So now when the blood, which is flowing through the bone marrow to all the parts of my body, the forgiveness, the attitude or the power to forgive is flowing through all of my body parts. So there is no place of unforgiveness. So when there is no place of unforgiveness, there is no place for bitterness or revenge or, uh, you know, any kind of bondage that, that happens because of unforgiveness. Because I want to stop there only. I just want to, don't want to go beyond unforgiveness because it, it leads to the bitterness. So many things, you know, it causes so many things damage. So what the Holy Spirit was giving me or revealing to me is that when I am receiving the new blood, I'm also receiving the power to forgive, you know? And uh, I think uh, two months before, I was listening a module on forgiveness in Mike Parsons' website from Debbie. I think his daughter, I think, maybe, I'm not so sure. I think it's his daughter who is teaching, giving a teaching on forgiveness. And I tell you, I have heard forgiveness teachings and I have been practicing as according to the will gate or the choice gate. And it helped me. I will not say it not helped me, it helped me, but not 100%. But when I listened to Debbie's module of forgiveness, what she's teaching, I tell you, I was in tears because the new principle, what I have learned after listening to that module is when we choose to forgive anybody, whoever it is, even to myself, I am saying you owe me nothing. It's a big confession. You owe me nothing. Or the, that person, what, however bad or however uh, wrong that person maybe has done to me or to anyone, that person owes nothing. So that line is a revelation, you know, in all together in the realm of forgiveness. So when it is the first time when we do, it is a choice. Tears will come out. It will break everything. 
but then it becomes a lifestyle because I have been following that since two months. And now forgiveness, now today, this morning, I got a new revelation. Oh, now the forgiveness, the power to forgive is flowing through my body. So no one knows anything to me. I am just what the forgiveness of the Lord. So I carry that realm wherever I am, whether I go out or in, whatever I do, I am that realm of forgiveness. I am that realm. So that's how I felt to share this. <laughs> Sorry to take long. Wonderful, wonderful. Very excellent, good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, Sonia. very nice. <laughs> Yeah, you are an angel. You are an angel of forgiveness. Very beautiful, Sonia. Very beautiful. Yeah. Thomas, Thomas Square. He's an angel of forgiveness. Blessed are those who forgive. I share something that the Lord had uh, done for me. Uh, even as a young girl, I had this uh, asthmatic problem. I was very allergic to dust and uh, it was difficult to go to cold places. And um, I had to use inhalers. It became a part of my life. I had one in my bag. I had one under the pillow and some extra ones for emergency. And uh, it was just six years back that uh, God was into healing ministry. He prayed for me and I was completely out of it. And I could take the coldest of foods, go to the coldest of places, and it never affected me anymore. But recently, as you all know, my mother passed away and when her health was deteriorating we shifted to our family because all the caretakers had to leave they were all affected by COVID and then uh, somehow suddenly this problem came back again this asthmatic problem I don't know the reason probably because uh, the place was big and it was not kept clean enough because of the caretakers and then um, I couldn't even speak uh, two sentences continuously because I start I will start coughing and then the breathing problem started. It was very very a, a difficult time of my life. And then I kept wondering why this had come back to me, because but because of all the work and the strain there, and uh, we couldn't uh, you know give it much consideration. But after my mom, or my mother-in-law was called back. Um, when she was taken to her eternal home, we came back, we shifted back to our place. And then we decided we, could, we should take it to the courts. And then we presented it to the Lord, the Father. And uh, we, I felt that the enemy, what the Lord had given the enemy, had stolen back. A few days later, after this incident, we realized that I had not used my inhaler for a long time after the prayer was made, after the presentation was made, and I was completely out of it. Now I don't use my inhal inhalers anymore. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a big thing in my life because uh, though we have gone to the courts earlier, um, this kind of an immediate um, answer to, to our presentation was the first time that we experienced in our life. And I want to thank God and I want to uh, thank Ecclesia for training us in this aspect. Amen. Thank you so much, Molly. Wonderful. So powerful. Thank you, Molly. 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 Okay, we, we will wait for one more person to share. Any brave heart? Brother Sridhar and Lira, just one request I have. Uh, because at times I'm unable to attend the Ecclesia meetings on weekdays, that conferencing call, can it be uh, kept for one week? Because I listen during my weekends. Because sometime after three days, it just goes off, you know. Which one? Lira shares the we conference uh, call, the conference uh, we uh, she shares you know, on uh, every after every Monday Tuesdays whatever the discussion shared of Mike Parson. Uh, is so it you, possible? Is it yeah, possible Elizabeth, to keep for a week? Once in a week. Not the no, whole week. I get uh, the whole week, so I can listen on a Thursday and Fridays. You know. 
He's talking about the recording, the recording, recording that is done. Recording. Keep but, the recording. Uh, just, uh, yeah, but I'm just saying. Acha, okay, that 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 can be worked out. Yeah, that can be worked out. Yeah, because Lira, sometimes you... suppose sometimes when I miss it, no, so I miss the Mondays when if I had connected very late. So I think it is there for two or three days. So I just wanted a recording to be kept, you know. So uh, we have to. Uh, we yeah, actually, ahead. you know, uh, uh, remove that uh, uh, recordings on uh, Sundays. Ah, Sundays. So, right. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Usually on Sundays we remove. Okay, no worries. I'll try to connect. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Lira. No All right, over to Shrida. Shrida, you can start the session. We are waiting okay. to hear from you, the teachings. Yeah. 